Welcome to Flutter Teacher. In this video, I will explain a fitted box along with all its properties and real time use. So, without wasting time, let's get started. Many times on UI, especially in case of responsive designs, we want a widget to get fitted in specific part of UI so that UI should look consistent. In such a case, we can make the use of fitted box. The fitted box is a single child layout widget that scales and positions its child within itself according to the fit value. Let's understand the real time use of fitted box. We have a row that contains a text and image inside it. You can observe now this particular image is large enough so that it cannot fit in my device screen size. So what I can do, I can simply wrap this row inside the fitted box. Let's click on this wrap widget and we open this widget at fitted box. And when I save here, you can observe now, both this text and image, they are now properly visible on my screen. So it doesn't matter what kind of widget we have inside this fitted box, whether it's a row, it's an image or any kind of widget. So irrespective of the size of the widget, your fitted box will scale that particular widget so that it should get fitted inside the space available uh, on your UI. So that is the reason a fitted box is mostly used in case of the responsive designs also. Let's see one more example for understanding this fitted box and here I will talk about the properties of that one also. We have a text uh, that is having the large font size placed inside the container. You can observe now container is small that was for that reason this particular large text is not completely visible inside a container. So what is my requirement? I want this particular text has to be getted fitted inside this uh, container of size 200 by 200. And for that reason, I can simply wrap this text inside the fitted box. So let's write here fitted box. Let me use const here. So when I save the code, you will observe now this particular text that is the last text has now scaled so that it should get properly visible inside this small container. One observable thing here is the size of text is not the same one. So that is the reason I'm seeing each and every time that fitted box is going to scale your widget means it is going to scale down or scale up your widget based on the place available uh, for its fitting values. Let me remove const from here. The fitted box has got property for alignment that allows us to align the widget inside the fitted box. There are several ways for passing values for this alignment. If you want to get more details about that one, I explain all this thing in the video called align widget. So go ahead and watch that one. Link is also there in the description. But for this example, I will simply use different constants of this alignment class. So let me use the alignment class dot different constants. So I will go with the constant called say top left. When I save here, you can observe now this particular text has a line in the top left. So instead of top left, let me use say bottom center. So it's now going to align inside the bottom center of the container. We can also place that one in center. So let's use your center and save the code. Fitted box has a property called fit that allows us to control how a widget has to be fitted inside a fitted box. And for passing these values, we have to pass the object of box fit. So let's add your box fit. And along with this, we got uh, so several options. Let's say box fit dot contain, cover, field, field height, field width. So let me use here say cover. So it's going to cover entire space available here. You can see now this particular text has got the complete space available on the screen. So if you want to get the only portion uh, which is available inside the container and the remaining portion has to be clipped for that purpose, we can use property called clip behavior. And for that value, we can pass a clip dot say hard edge. So that is going to clip or cut all the extra portions outside this container so that only the part which is available in the container that will be visible and remaining part will be gated clipped out of the container. That's it for this video. See you guys in the next video. If you really found this video helpful and knowledgeable, then don't forget to like, share, subscribe and hit the bell notification button to get my latest videos.